Uh, so Senior Projects is a five-week program at the end of their senior year and it gives them the opportunity to get off of campus and do something a little more independent, try out a career option. So what we've instituted is a proctor program mm -hmm. um, and so we have 15 Mm -hmm. um, usually teachers of seniors or advisors of seniors and it's the proctor's role to brainstorm with the kids and you know that's a place they can meet once every two weeks to kind of make progress mm -hmm. um, and I know many of our proctors really are hands-on on that they'll say like where are you at in your process and if they haven't made a phone call then that's the time to step into my office and right. make that phone call Let's talk about uh, opportunities they have for seminars or ex-ed trips, um, what they're doing locally, and perhaps what they're, you know, like get into the nuts and bolts of what kids are actually doing this year. Uh, the ex-ed seminar this year, they're headed out away from New Mexico. They're going to be in Arizona for a week rock climbing, and then they're headed up to Utah for probably about a week and a half of technical canyoneering mm -hmm. in the robber's roost area in utah and then we have several kids over with new mexico orthopedics this year those guys are always really good lots of um, alum and parents at new mexico orthopedics we get lots of kids there several kids with veterinary we have two boys traveling around new mexico fly fishing mm -hmm. they're going to do study they're, they're doing what's called the new mexico trout challenge they're trying to catch all five native new mexican fish fly fishing only. Um, we have a number of people at various hospitals mm -hmm. um, shadowing doctors and I think a change that I've seen that's nice is that um, clinic work is not so interesting sometimes but lately they've found surgeons who are willing to Allow let them, them be yeah be in the theater and then follow follow them so, doing rounds. So we placed uh, over 170 kids uh, in different uh, internships. I will tell you just on, on my group, uh, it ranges one of them um, is headed over to London and working in finance there. Uh, I have another one that is uh, two that are in, at UNM uh, doing working with various professors, m more so in, in terms of scientific research. Uh, it's been really great, the array of projects that our kids do. So what are some ways um, alums of the academy can connect with our current students through the senior project program? We reach out to alum quite a bit, actually. They host quite a few of our seniors every year. It's a fantastic opportunity because I think the hardest thing for our kids is cold calling someone mm -hmm. if they're interested in orthopedic surgery or veterinary clinics or whatever, but if they know that that person is an alum, mm -hmm. they're familiar with our program already, it's a lot easier to make that call or make that connection. Well, I've seen a lot of schools um, try to do this. I have not seen a school do it as well as it's done at the academy. It's a really meaningful experience for kids and it also provided an opportunity for, for people like me to talk um, about career choices or um, areas of curiosity um, or taking chances or how do you make a cold call or what happens when they don't get back to you. I think the struggle is really important because that is part of getting a job. It's not just oh, pick up the phone and I go to work the next day. Um, how do you handle that? And that is um, something that can't be replicated other than through the actual experience.